behind us. Hello. Yes, actually, it dips into your head. It dips into my head. Yes. It looks like a headpiece. Perfect. <laughs> Very. Cher would be jealous. Yeah. She's literally always been. <laughs> Cher, or as I like to call her, Cleopatra. Yes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Justin. And I'm Scott. And guess what? We're living for love. We are here at the Terrace Lounge at the Pepper Mill in Reno, Nevada. Uh, we decided to stop here for some drinks for our living for nightlife. Um, I ended up getting the Lamella, which has an apple syrup that's made in-house. Nice. And I went with the With Love, which is uh, like a cobbler style drink and actually uses a local whiskey. Yes. So, um, and the local whiskey also has a distillery close by, right? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I believe, in Fallon. Yeah, so not so too far. So if you know your northern Nevada, it's yes. you know, not terribly far away. Yeah, and hopefully maybe we'll check that place out for you. Sure. Yeah. So, here we go. We're going to do a taste test. You ready? Yeah. We'll go with yours first. You want to cheers? Sure. All cheers. right. Cheers. Ooh. <laughs> and uh, it's spicy. Oh no. Not really. I mean, the, it has some kind of like of the, the apple-y spice. Okay, okay, apple so it tastes like fall. Apple-y. Apple-y. It's happily apple-y. <laughs> <laughs> oh good God. <laughs> ah, that'll make the cut. It's happily apple-y. <laughs> uh, you're next. Okay, let's give this a shot. Mm. Yeah, you can definitely taste the whiskey. It is a very strong drink, um, but it's got like sort of that peach taste. So cobblery, that does cobblery. Cobblery. We're going big on our adjectives today, guys. It's probably cobblery. Probably <laughs> applery. <laughs> um, we're not drunk yet, I swear. No, not yet. Not but yeah. After we finish this drink, um, I probably will be. Right? It's super, super strong, but super delish. And um, I just want to like show off this presentation. We'll get a better shot of it as well. But man, that is absolutely adorable. And really, this wasn't even overpriced. This is like $32 for two drinks. So $16 a drink for yeah. this level of presentation. Yes, very craft, craftish, crafty. Yeah. And um, she put her heart and soul into it. Yeah, so she was really, really great. Shout out to the bartender. I believe her name was Vanessa. 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 So thank if you're you very much for Vanessa, a wonderful drink. Thank you. We are here with Vanessa, our bartender. She made these beautiful drinks for us, and she has one thing she'd like to say. So let's talk about the vibe. Uh, beautiful colors. Um, in place of a chandelier, they have an art piece, a hanging 
flower scape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's it's all these neon colors. It makes it bright. I believe it's in frame right now. Yes. Um, so you guys can see it right behind us. Hello. Yes, actually, it dips into your head. It dips into my head. Yes. It looks like a headpiece. Perfect. <laughs> Very. Cher would be jealous. Yeah. She's literally always been. <laughs> Chair, or as I like to call her, Cleopatra. Yes. <laughs> I'm starting that rumor. I know. Mm. So I got to admit though, the one thing about this is I'm a little bit like, uh, what do I do with the basket of herbage just on top of my drink? Because <laughs> it's stunning. But, Shoot it. Ooh. I wonder, they have to be edible. Yeah, but I don't think, I don't, I, I'm not going to test the theory. Okay. How about that? All right. But I guess I'm also not supposed to like delicately place it on the table in front of me. I know, right? <laughs> it just like melts and we have this pool of flowers. Yes, because that is made of ice. Yeah, and it will eventually disintegrate. Yeah. I, the level of detail in this is really, really cool. Beautiful. So um, right now the vibe is pretty chill. We came midday because, you know, we're in the middle of a turn up. Turn up. But and you know when you're on vacation? You turn up at any time. I mean, come on. At any time, yes. So um, we are definitely enjoying ourselves, but yes. it is a chill, calm vibe here right now. Mm -hmm. And I know that it gets a little bit more turn up later on. Yes, they, so. they even have a band that they play. Yeah, uh, they usually have live music on Fridays, Saturdays. I don't know how that's going with like, COVID. Everything going on right now, 2020 being what it is. Yes. But um, yeah. that's a that's a thing that you might want to be aware of mm -hmm. or that might attract you. Yeah, it might attract you if you like that nice mellow, mellow mm -hmm. pace. Um, the colors are just exquisite here, just right. beautiful. So um, it's pleasing to the eye. So even if it is mellow, just looking around and enjoying it. Right, and it's got a surprising okay so it's got the pillars and everything but it's also got a surprisingly like modern feel to it mm -hmm. like if you look at the chandeliers if you look at the pieces around um there's a lot of like metal elements um so it's not it's not just traditionally say tuscan or whatever mm -hmm. yeah um, it's very very modern very modern very yeah it's a hybrid Hip. it's a hybrid it's a hybrid yes <laughs> <laughs> of life make sure that you like this video and subscribe if you want to see more like this follow us on instagram and hit that notification bell so you are notified when videos like this come out absolutely yes so thank you guys so much for joining us we're going to be hitting up another bar soon yes and we'll uh make sure to share that with you too yeah and if you are a lover of life make sure to share the tuscany lounge with others and make sure to share this video with love for vanessa yes Woo. go vanessa go vanessa that girl she's my girl yeah i love her she's great <laughs> okay So, we are here at the Fireside Lounge at the Peppermill Reno. Decided we need to stop in for a drink. Another one. Another, Another one. one. Another one. Another one, as uh, DJ, DJ Khaled. Khaled would say. <laughs> That's the one. Yeah. Him. DJ Khaled. <laughs> So, um, it, as you see, it's very loungy. You can barely see me. Right. It's it's very dim in here. Very dim. But that's, you know, that's a good vibe. Yeah, you want that during a All tornado. the lighting is on the floor. All the lighting is, like, downcast. Yeah. And it's very relaxing in here. So, for those of you who have been, who have been in the uh, Fireside Lounge in Vegas... That one's a lot more, like, neon, a lot more, like, blue. This one is very chill color. Yeah, real chill and... Um, yeah, but uh, but beautiful. I love kind of it's elegant yeah. meets uh, what well, kind of like vintage. Yeah, so it's pretty obvious that in the past this was themed like the uh, fireside lounge down in um, 
Vegas. Down in Vegas. Mm -hmm. With all that neon, with everything going um, pretty dark and pretty 70s status. Yeah. So it's still kind of on that level, yeah. but they definitely updated it to some, you know, to some extent. Uh -huh. A but touch they, of modern. Huh? But they definitely have the fireside itself. Yes. So they still have that element. They've stayed true to that sort of core. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty cool. Yeah. So, it, yeah, it's really beautiful in here. Um, uh, personally, I... I, I would choose this lounge for my taste, right. or the decor, uh, but you know, to each their own. The other one's cool and retro, and this one uh, modern and elegant. Right. Um, but it still has, you know, a touch of brass here and there to remind okay. you that we're a few decades behind. Lots of mirrors. Lots of mirrors, <laughs> the screens, yeah. Lots of mirrors, very old fashioned felt couches. Yeah, very clean. <laughs> I do love how clean and fresh it is. Yeah. So. Absolutely. All right. All right. We're going to check out the menu. We're going to get ourselves a few drinks mm -hmm. and we'll be back. All right. See ya. All right, y'all. We got our drinks and I ended up getting the chocolate chip cookie. I ended up getting the orange cream sickle. So what we found out when we were looking at the menus is that they go kind of heavy for like ice cream theme in their signature drink. So it's a blended drink. Yes. And um, they look amazing. They do. Super oh, frosty. My gosh. Yeah. All of their drink, a lot of their drinks here have ice cream yeah. in them. There's some kind of ice cream element. Uh huh. But um, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and do a taste test. All right. Cheers. Oh my gosh. It tastes like a chocolate chip cookie. Mm. Plus alcohol. With with spiked. Spiked chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> oh my gosh. This actually just tastes like a straight up creamsicle. Oh my gosh. It's so delicious. Oh my gosh. I thought that it was gonna have like mm. heavy alcohol. This mm. thing this thing is lethal. Oh my gosh. Alright guys. Make sure you like this video, subscribe so that you're always notified when we have a new video drop, hit that notification bell, and follow us on Instagram for more adventures. For more adventures. Not really. I mean, the, it has some kind of like of the, the apple-y spice. Okay, okay, apple so it tastes like fall. Apple-y. Apple-y. It's happily apple-y. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good God. <laughs>